previously we actually did the hardest part of this uh, circuit analysis meaning that we made these six equations one from the Kirchhoff's current law on the current junction then uh, number two and three from the voltage loops the Kirchhoff voltage law then the uh, equations four to six are actually the uh, Ohm's law on each the uh, resistive component so we have six equations and luckily we also have six unknowns so we could actually start doing this in pen and paper but there are also some tools let's actually do this a, a, a engineering way I'm going to use here the Python package and especially uh, the uh, spider which is part of anaconda distribution of this of this um, uh, python the spider is actually designed for scientific and engineering problem solving and there we actually can actually do some symbolic mathematics quite easily let me open here the spider and uh, here we have the, these uh, the um, equations still showing up. Uh, let me close that uh, my own face here. Okay, first we need to do some uh, the uh, standard stuff. So what if we are using some symbolic? symbolic mathematics then we actually want to have the uh, sum pi import import all the functions and parameters from the sum pi that's done next we need to also um, show that okay we have these u r1 r2 and r3 they are also uh, the, the, the symbols they are known symbols but we actually have to tell uh, this uh, Python then okay those are also symbols for skipping the uh, uppercase we have R1 R2 R3 U are actually symbols just write that and then we have a list of symbols R1, R2, R3 and U inside there that should be do the trick yes and next we have the uh, unknowns uh, unknown voltages which are uh, for example U1, U2 U2, U3 are also symbols okay and next we have these currents I, I1 and I3 not I2 but I3 I think just peek a little bit um, I1 I, I1 and I3 is equal to symbols I I1 I3 okay now if we just run this uh, script here we can actually the uh, uh, introduce those parameters to the Python uh, next we can start making the equation equation group by giving the equations eq1 equals function eq where i is equal to i1 plus i3 okay equation 2 is uh, q u1 plus u2 minus u equals to zero so this way 
you go through all of these equations and let me do a shortcut here there we have the rest of the equations okay so we first did the, this uh, introduce the symbols known symbols and unknown symbols then we have these equation groups or equations on the equation group and next part is the fun part which is basically just solve the equation group okay let me put that one on a variable SOL equals solve first the equation group Q to the equation 3, equation 4, equation 5, equation 6. And what we are going to solve from that, we solve all the unknowns, which are U1, U2, U3, I, I1, I3 there now we can just run this one and then print the answer so let me just um, also put the print command here and I will be actually printing with a latex form which is quite nice then you can actually usually there's plenty of different ways to in, uh, then from that uh, latex text you can then put it into a nice printed form okay run that one and we got the answer right here that's actually the equation group that this um, or equation group solved for unknowns you want to you three and all the uh, unknown the uh, currents so basically it looks like this one here on on the uh, on the next page so it took some minutes uh, seven minutes when I was talking actually if I wasn't talking it takes only three minutes to write the equations and let this uh, nice spider to solve it for you so that's the engineering way of doing circuit analysis